just where just you can open your eyes. <gasps> oh, oh Jenna! Do you love her? Yeah. It's funny because I haven't even seen myself in it yet. Jenna, it's, best for... <laughs> it's, better than that. it's better than what you picked. It's a banging dress. It actually was though, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really, oh, I'm, I am really pleased. She's I can't. That I, can't yeah. <laughs> I remember feeling how proud of him I was yeah. at that time. Oh my god! I still to this day cannot believe that that him and Kennedy sat and chose that dress. I really can't. <laughs> Do you think it needs any alterations? I don't like the length of it. It's too long. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm gonna trip up over it. Has he got any alterations? No, no. no he's not. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm not walking down the aisle in this. I'll trip up, so that needs to be sorted. I was so adamant that this dress needed to be taken up, otherwise I'm not wearing it. Hi, Nathan. It's Shelley and Nicola. Are you all right? Look, we've just um, tried Jenna's dress on. Yeah. She absolutely loved it. Oh, thank God for that. No, friend, just slip on. It's too long for her. Right. It's going to cost £200 to get it done overnight. All of a sudden, it just, like, brought me straight back down to earth. Alterations, man. Who thinks about alterations? I know, who would actually think about alterations? It's this not a thing. I genuinely have £1.40-odd pence left. I don't know. Is there anything you can take back or exchange to try and get £200? As the rules set out that the cost of the wedding must only come from the 13 grand budget, Nathan had a problem. I've just spent the budget. Oh, man, I don't need this. And yet, only hours before, Nathan had plenty of cash to spare. I remember that morning, right? And I had about 400, 500 quid left, didn't I? Yeah. It was like, yeah, we've smashed it. We've still got all this money left. We'll spend it all on alcohol. Blah, blah, blah. Literally walking around the shop, just throwing in it was throwing cases in, of Prosecco. Like, One of these. <laughs> what else? What else? So, with the clock ticking, all that extra booze was taken back. As Nathan raced to return the booze, Jenna was filled in on the situation. Can you speak to him. Yeah. Yeah. He's got one pound, forty two one left. But at this point, my mum had said, no matter what, I want to give the £200 for the alterations and I'm, I'm paying for it. So regardless of whether it comes out of the budget or it doesn't. Yeah. So he's running round to the shops now, trying to take stuff back, but he thinks he can get about £150. Well, he's got one pound odd left, so, so I'm not that's got it. Pay. So my mum will pay for it, end of, that's it. Not, I'm not doing it. So I said at this point, why are you doing it to him? And I was upset for my husband to be. Why are you, do why are you making him do this when she's already said she's going to pay for it? My mum's paying for it and that's it. Shall I ring him? Yeah, tell him. He's not running around like a blue-ass fly, trying to take really stuff back. Stressed. That's not fair. So oh, if my mum wants to pay for it, that, that, that spoke to my mum. I'm just exhausted with this process. She's crying at that point, I think, because she's stressed. How stressed I was, aren't you? Yeah. She's crying because I think she was scared. She knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, that built up. But Jenna wasn't prepared to follow the rules. Can someone get me out of this dress? And her word was final. Don't film it. If she gets angry... Yeah, if I get angry, I'll, go, I'll lose it. Do not film me. I lost it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.